All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Italy. Welcome back to Genoa. All right, so uh, I just wanted to do an update because I haven't really, I haven't really talked to you guys for a while and talked about all the things that have happened uh, since I left the UK. It's been a busy uh, few weeks. I uh, I left the UK uh, the Monday. What was that? It would have been the 20th of September, heading for Monaco for the Monaco Yacht Show. I drove my car from the UK down to Monaco uh, uh, overnight. We arrived in Nice the following day. Got to Nice late at night, and then the very next morning I went to Monaco, and I did the Monaco Yacht Show, as you've probably seen on my channel. Uh, if you want to see actually the trip down, I, I, I made a video on my other channel, Isis Man Tech, uh, of the trip down. It was quite a good trip. Um, so if you want to see that, I'll post a link in the normal places. And if you haven't seen my Monaco Yacht Show videos, then, then what are you doing? <laughs> um, after I posted one of the videos, I, I posted an interior tour of, the, of uh, a, a boat called K584. And afterwards, the video didn't do as well as I thought it might. And I posted a comment uh, on the channel, on the YouTube channel, asking people to tell me why they, they didn't watch it or why they didn't feel like it did as it, sh it didn't do as well as it should have done. I, I neglected to post the actual name of the video that I was talking about. But once I once I um, I posted a link to the video, got some great feedback from everybody. So thanks to everybody uh, for the feedback, even though I didn't like some of it. <laughs> It's always good to hear what people are thinking. Um, so thanks very much for that. Um, I, I understand that and, it, and it's flattering as well to know that people would have preferred to have seen me talking on camera about the vessel that I was showing. Uh, it's just that I didn't know the vessel and the person who was on the boat with me just happened to be the owner of the company who built it. So I thought, who better to talk about this vessel? The plan was to talk to the chief engineer and to go through the engine room and some of the technical stuff. And unfortunately, because of the weather issues that we had, because of the time constraints, I was on board for three hours. Um, but because of the weather during that time, the chief engineer was busy and so on and so forth. And we couldn't, we, we, ne we never got to do it, unfortunately. But possibly in the future, I might be able to revisit that. But anyway, thanks very much to everybody who, um, who, who gave me that feedback. So after the Monaco Yacht Show, the day after the Monaco Yacht Show, as you've seen in my last video, I left uh, that area, Nice, Nice Port, where I was based, and I drove to Italy, to Genoa, to go back to my primary job. And, uh, and that's where I am now, I'm back in Italy, and um, it's, uh, it's been interesting. Um, the weather has been really bad here, a lot of rain. Uh, luckily, I'm on a boat. Anyway, moving on to the subject of this video is, um, uh, a couple of days ago, I was working and I saw this vessel arriving and it had written on the side of it um, a high it was that it was a hybrid and it was it was a roll-on roll-off ferry and it was it said hybrid and it said zero emissions in port so basically this vessel the huge vessel it's probably like the equivalent of like a 40,000 uh, ton cruise ship or something like that and it was I believe it was coming up from Sardinia and it was boasting that it had a hybrid system on board and that it had zero emissions whilst in port and it made me think about this subject. It's, it's quite a um, contentious subject whenever I mention something being eco-friendly when it's such a big vessel or something like that. But what you have to think about is, I know there's gonna be a lot of comments about from people saying that it's impossible for a ship to be eco-friendly and stuff like that. But is it? I mean, in, you know, in our lifetime, it's unlikely that we'll ever see a vessel of this size or that thing that just went past fully electric and fully you know zero emissions in terms of burning fuel to move now one of the arguments you always have is well it's not eco-friendly because they have to build the batteries and the batteries have to use lithium mining and stuff and i understand that perfectly but once the vessel is built if it's burning fuel all the time then it's 
it's continuing to pollute, right? So it, once the best vessel is built, if, it, if this vessel was built and it was completely electric and it didn't make any emissions throughout its lifetime, that's better than not, than not doing that and burning fuel all the time, right? Unless the construction of it exceeds the amount of uh, fuel that you might burn in that lifetime, which is unlikely. But what you've got to remember is that by a vessel, like a roll-on, roll-off ferry saying that it has zero emissions whilst in port is a start, right? It's heading in that direction. Now, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people, are, especially when I talk about super yachts, saying it's impossible for it to be eco-friendly. But, you know, 20 years ago, there was this crazy person who built this Lotus and he put batteries in it. And he took a Lotus car, took the engine out, put batteries in it, and he, he tried to sell it and um, he put it on Top Gear and Top Gear said this is crazy it's fast in a straight line but it's unreliable and stuff like that and that person was Elon Musk and that was his first car right and now look at where he's gone where he's taken that um, idea and it's become you know the most successful electric car and I'm not saying that the electric car the EV or the Tesla is uh, zero emissions it is once it's built Obviously, there's there's a lot of stuff that's going on whilst it's being built, but it's going in that the right direction, right? And that roll-on, roll-off ferry that pictures that you've just seen is the same thing. It's going in the right direction, and this is what I'm trying to get across: is that these vessels, whilst they are polluters, they are trying to make them more efficient and less polluting. And in the future, hopefully, we will get to a point where they are clean. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there, and but let me know what you think of this roll on roller vessel. Uh, do you think it's possible for this to be uh, considered to be uh, more eco-friendly than one that is pumping out uh, emissions all the time? Let me know in the comments anyway guys, and thanks very much, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye bye.